Okay, so we're getting started. This is the uh, webinar. Let me go ahead and stop this uh, poll here. It looks like uh, everybody has voted who has the chance to, so I'm going to close out the poll. Okay. Okay, thanks for everybody who were participating in the poll as we waited for everybody else to join the call. I'm John Davern. Um, I'm uh, the President and CEO of Virtual Assistant Talent, and we'll be talking to you how to use LinkedIn to generate more leads for your business. It's a one-hour webinar, and uh, I'm going to go over the agenda with you, and then um, we'll open it up for questions. Uh, if you have questions during the call, all you need to do is type in your question. And uh, in some cases, I'll try to answer the question during the call. Otherwise, we'll have a Q&A towards the end of the, the call. And we can even stick around a few minutes after the call if, if needed to get all the questions answered. So what I'm going to be covering today, uh, I'll go over some introductions. Um, and then I'm going to talk to you about why LinkedIn is a gold mine for prospecting. Uh, we'll talk about how to communicate in LinkedIn and the different levels of connections that there are in LinkedIn and, and how that affects your ability to communicate with other members. Next, we'll cover an overview of some key LinkedIn prospecting techniques, um, so some high-level techniques, and then we're going to hone in on a particular technique uh, that works very well when it comes to LinkedIn marketing, and I'm calling it the, the secret marketing technique, and we'll go over that a little bit later. We'll spend some time talking about the importance of LinkedIn groups and how LinkedIn groups can be a real key part of your online marketing strategy within LinkedIn. Um, it opens you up to numbers and numbers of prospects and clients that, that you can potentially contact and convert into uh, paying clients and customers. We'll talk a little bit about the benefits of creating your own LinkedIn group and then communicating within the LinkedIn groups to gain prospects and then discuss an implementation strategy. Uh, so with all the information that you get today, how can you implement that or get assistance in implementing that? And then we'll have a Q&A at the end. Uh, so next what I'd like to do is just uh, do a couple uh, quick introductions, uh, just a little bit about myself. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm President and CEO of Virtual Assistant Talent, LLC. I've got 20 years of experience in human resources and recruiting, uh, work for General Electric, Toyota, a couple other Fortune 500 companies, and also have been a Silicon Valley recruiter um, and HR manager with experience filling thousands of jobs and, and training thousands of employees. I started a, a virtual assistant business about uh, four years ago, and in that business that's given me the opportunity to train hire and uh, manage hundreds of virtual assistants and placing those virtual assistants with small business owners and, and clients. I actually got started out in that business initially as a real estate investor and landlord, and I was able to get my first few real estate deals actually using a virtual assistant, and then that evolved into the business that I have today. Um, MBA in human resources uh, and also an internet technology webmaster, so I've uh, got a background where I've had to manage a number of different client web projects, um, online marketing projects, um, and, and I've kind of, it's given me the opportunity to see uh, in this business, which is a, a virtual assistant business, um, what, what's working for clients and, and what's not working for clients. So basically what we do is, is I consult with business owners on what are their business needs and what challenges they may be having, and how can virtual workforce help support them. Uh, so I founded this company in 2009, and uh, we provide various services for small business owners, which includes uh, digital marketing, SEO, social media marketing, content writing, blogging, graphics design, lead gen, telemarketing, administrative. And uh, again, it ex exposes me to different strategies and different things that business owners are, are trying to implement. And some things work and s some things don't, uh, but one of the things that has really worked um, is LinkedIn marketing. And uh, just wanted to recognize um, one of our long-term clients, um, Ken Varga, he's, he's uh, on the call today. Uh, Ken has been using our uh, virtual assistant services for quite some time, and in fact, for uh, over three years, uh, I've known Ken, he's worked with us, and Ken has a very successful program that he put together for his LinkedIn marketing that creates 10 to 25 clients per month 
using uh, LinkedIn. And uh, Ken's been, you know, very successful in his business background, uh, creating over six million customers of of his own and 35 businesses, and selling his last two companies for over nine figures each. And so, uh, when I met Ken, um, got introduced to him, and saw what he was doing with LinkedIn, um, I learned about his program. I actually joined his coaching program and have implemented that in, in my business, um, and also. Uh, other clients of ours have implemented this technique. So we're going to hone in on this, this particular strategy during the call today. Uh, but Ken, um, uh, I took you off uh, mute in case you wanted to chime in, but uh, welcome to the, the call, Ken. And, and Ken may be chiming in towards the end of the call as well uh, or throughout if he has some things that he wants to add. So, um, All right. Uh, so let's uh, talk about um, why LinkedIn is a gold mine. Uh, for prospecting. Um, so you probably already know this, but if, if you look at some of the statistics when it comes to LinkedIn, 560,000 professionals visit the LinkedIn homepage every day. 450 million pages are viewed every week. So it's, it's a huge network and it's growing, and especially for people who are involved in B2B, B, and you'll even see for B2C, it's it's a huge marketing opportunity. Now, one of the things about LinkedIn, and, and you know, I've, I've worked with a lot of different uh, clients um, on different types of marketing programs, and, and telemarketing is one of the, the common projects that we do. And when we're doing telemarketing projects, it's, it's always getting through the gatekeepers to the decision makers. And that can be challenging when it comes to telemarketing programs. But one of the things with, or even finding out who is the, dishes, the decision maker. So when we look at uh, LinkedIn, four out of five LinkedIn members drive business decisions. 39% are senior level executives and above, and 28% are responsible for managing budgets. So LinkedIn is a powerful tool to connect you to those decision makers that you're trying to get to. Now let me just show you, I'm going to do a, a quick uh, demonstration of uh, what you can do when you go into uh, LinkedIn. Now um, if you go into LinkedIn and if you're, if you're trying to figure out, okay, here's what my business is and here's the, the type of client or customer that I'm trying to reach, you can go into LinkedIn and click on advertising. Just log me out. Let me uh, log back in here. So we're going to log in and act as if we're going to create a campaign in LinkedIn. So let's say, for example, I'm going to create a new campaign, and let's say I'm a business coach, and I'm trying to attract CEOs into my business coaching program. So I'm going to call it Attract CEOs, type in my website. Join our coaching program. You can just put anything in here. We're, this is just to, to get to the next page. Now what this does is it's showing how many members there are in LinkedIn. And once we do that, we can then hone in and see what is our target market. So let's say we're targeting CEOs. We can go down to seniority and target C-level executives, owners. That shows that there's 18 million LinkedIn members. Now let's say, for example, I'm, I'm starting a group 
where CEOs meet together and I train these CEOs and we do networking sessions and I'm targeting this for San Francisco Bay Area. Well, then I can target by location San Francisco Bay Area. And what that tells me is there's 373,000 LinkedIn members that are CEO, C-level executives in San Francisco Bay Area. And so you can do this, you can even hone in by industry, for example, um, pick by company size. So let's say you're looking for more of like uh, solopreneurs, you know, you can pick a small company size, myself only. Um, so it allows you to hone in on your target market and just really see what the potential is of LinkedIn. So I just wanted to show you that. And one of the things about uh, LinkedIn is it also reaches an audience. Let me just check here, see if there's some questions already. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, no questions yet. Uh, yeah, I, I, I saw that, Ken. So I'll, I'll unmute you. Let me just check here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna unmute. How's that, John? Can you hear me now? Yeah. There we go, Ken. Yep. So Ken, you're unmuted. So Great. if you want to chime in, uh, everybody, uh, welcome, Ken Varga. I think I had him on mute earlier when I was doing his introduction. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So, all right. So, Ken, you're unmuted now, so feel free to chime in. Um, you can just mute yourself back. Uh, I've got you uh, unmuted, so sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Um, so, uh, LinkedIn uh, reaches a unique audience. So, in, in, in that, um, if you take a look at these statistics, uh, it's reaching people who aren't on Facebook, uh, who aren't on Twitter. Um, so, it allows you, it, it opens up another whole market of people for you. The other thing is, you know, we're, we're mainly talking about uh, a B2B technique today, but LinkedIn can also be a powerful network if you look at the buying power of people who are in LinkedIn, uh, 300 million professionals who are also consumers. So it's important to keep that in mind that uh, LinkedIn can also be leveraged not only for B2B, but B2C. Now before I get into uh, one of the uh, core techniques techniques that I'm going to teach you about today. I want, wanted to just go over some basics in, in LinkedIn uh, because it affects your ability to market and communicate with people. And LinkedIn, uh, once you connect with people, they become a first degree. So a first, a first degree connection is somebody who's either sent you a connection request and you've accepted it or you've accept, sent them a connection request and they've accepted or vice versa. And once that, that's happened, it opens up the ability to communicate with them and to send them private messages that are more lengthy uh, than uh, other people. For example, a second degree connection is somebody who's connected to your first level connections. And the way that you can communicate with them is only through a, for example, a connection message or through an email. Now there's a workaround for that which I'm going to show you uh, later on as part of the presentation. Third degree, those are people who are connected to your secondary connections, and there is an opportunity to connect with them by, if you are connected with them through a LinkedIn group affiliation, you can send them an invitation by clicking connect. Now there is a paid feature within uh, LinkedIn called InMail, and InMail allows you to send messages uh, to people, and if they don't open the message, you receive that credit back. It's, it's fairly expensive in mail, so if you know the, the type of account, if you have a basic account, um, you, it doesn't come with any in mail messages, but you can purchase up to 10 at $10 each, or if you have a premium account, which I think is around $65 a month, that comes with 10 in mail messages, and that allows you to send messages to people who you aren't connected with. Now we're going to talk about um, LinkedIn groups, uh, those people are, are considered part of your network because you're members of the same group. 
And once you're members of the same group, again, I'm going to show you a, a core technique here that's going to allow you to communicate and send your messages to them uh, with the hopes of converting them into to clients. Now, it's important to know that you're limited to sending out a, a 3,000 outbound connection requests. So that's outbound requests, not people connecting with you. Um, and that's a lifetime limit, although if you reach that limit, you can request to LinkedIn and they may increase it 500 or so more than that. But it's important to know that per LinkedIn account that you have, you have 3,000 connection requests. Um, we've had some people who've asked us uh, to really build their account in a short period of time and you can send out more than 100 in a 100 in a 24 hour period, but that's going to result in requirement of a CAPTCHA input. So I wanted to uh, go over those basics because it affects your ability to communicate with people. So if you look at once somebody is a first degree connection, uh, you can send them private messages up to 7,000 characters. If uh, you're not connected to somebody but you have their email address, uh, you can send a message that has up to 2,000 characters. If you don't have their email address, you can send a message that's 300 characters, um, and the reason why I bring that up is, let's say, for example, let me uh, show you an example of my connection messages and one of the things that I've just recently did. So as an example, um, here's what 2,000 characters looks like. So in the 2,000 characters, one of the... the the, the key things that I'm doing in the connection message that I'm sending to people is I'm mentioning I'm a fellow CEO business owner in the San Francisco Bay Area. This is if I'm sending it to somebody in the Bay Area. Would like to just wanted to say hi. Uh, notice you're within the vicinity. I think it's best we connect. You can gain access to my network by sending an invitation to join your network. Simply copy and paste this link. Uh, which is a link to my profile, and then I give them my email address. If you need an introduction to anyone in my network, please let me know. So I'm letting them know that I'm, I'm there to help uh, and give them access to my network. And what I'm doing is um, making it easy for them to connect with me by providing my, my email address. Um, I'm President and CEO of Virtual Assistant Talent. Uh, we help save 45 to 76 percent on labor costs or, and offer online marketing services. You'll see here when I was sending connection messages out I was actually inviting people to the webinar so I took advantage of, of the character limit in there to do that and uh, directing them to the website and then always I include a component uh, inviting them to a uh, the free report which is actually um, the free report You'll notice, depending on what free report you're using, some will get results and, and others won't. And this, this report's working really well. This is courtesy of uh, Ken Varga. Um, since I'm part of his coaching program, he allows me to use this uh, ebook that he created, um, and we're getting great results on that. So this is what 2,000 characters looks like. Now, opposed to a connection message, if you don't have their email address, it's only 300 characters. And so here I say, as a fellow CEO business owner, uh, I thought it would be beneficial for us to connect. I'd also be able to ha happy to connect you to anyone in my network. I'm present CEO of Virtual uh, Assistant Online Marketing Company. So that's really all the space that you have um, for that. So having the email addresses uh, gives you an advantage in that. Um, when it comes to status updates, um, the stat LinkedIn status update. So if you look in your account and you go here, you can do a status update and, and share it. That goes out to all of your first level uh, connections. And then if, if they share it, they, can, they it could possibly go out to second level connections that you have. So um, next I want to cover about LinkedIn groups um, and the importance of LinkedIn groups. One of the key advantages of LinkedIn groups is it allows you to send messages to people who are not in your first level connections. And this is how you get your message out to people. 
Um, and th that's one of the, the key things that we're going to discuss on the call. Now, before we get into that, though, in order to join LinkedIn groups, in particular the private ones, you would need to put in a request to join the group. And the person who's administering that group has to accept you into that group. So you want to be accepted into those groups. And so in advance of that, there's a couple foundation things that you need to do. One of the first things is optimizing your LinkedIn profile. Um, it, you want to make sure, just, just like, for example, with Google, when, when somebody searches, let's say somebody's searching for a uh, digital marketing expert, right? And they go on Google and they search for that. Maybe it's because they want to hire somebody or they need, need somebody to uh, do that type of service for them. They search for it on Google. Well, the same thing can happen on LinkedIn. Um, and with LinkedIn, you can optimize your profile. Like, let's say, for example, you're a digital marketing expert by having that in your headline that you're a digital marketing expert. You have that keyword in your summary. In your job descriptions, you have in there that you're a digital marketing expert. In your educational background, you have in there that you studied courses on becoming a digital marketing expert. And so you're optimizing your profile for those keywords, which influences when people search on LinkedIn. That's one of the contributing factors that will bring your name up in a keyword search as people search for people to connect with. Uh, so you want to make sure you have a good profile and th th this could be a whole other call on, on that topic, but that's one of the foundational things. Next is you want to build your first level connections because when you're trying to join groups or even connect, you know, connecting to people, you've got to get through that fir first hurdle because people, if, if you're trying to join the group and they see that you're not active, you're not engaged on LinkedIn, you don't have very many connections, and they look at you and you have 30 connections, they're not going to see that there's much value in you joining that group. So one of the things you can do is, is go back through you know, all the different meetings and networking meetings that you've had and, and take all those business cards. And this is one of the things that I did, did recently um, is uh, go through and get all your business cards and just scan them in, just like this. And any time you go to an event, take your business card and write where you met that person, the date, and what the event was. And you can see I did this. This was a product launch formula event that I went in Scottsdale, Arizona a couple months ago. So as I met people, I write day one, day two, and I scan these cards in, and then I sent them to my virtual assistant. And I have my virtual assistant put those business cards into a spreadsheet. Their first name, last name, email address, which I've eliminated for, for the purpose of this call, uh, their website, where I met the person. So you can see this is a product launch formula event I went, the uh, executive next practices event that I went to, a global business news event that I went to, a financial times, Vistage event, EMP event, uh, another EMP event, Provisors event. And then, um, so I now have this, and the next thing that I do is either I can connect with these people, or if I'm too busy, I don't have the time, I have my virtual assistant connect with these people. So I then built up my connection base um, so that when I'm going to join these LinkedIn groups, they see, well, yeah, he's active on LinkedIn, he has a number of connections. The next step then is uh, to join uh, the LinkedIn groups and identify what LinkedIn group that you're going to join. And so here's some criteria. Uh, you want to join, especially if you're a B2B groups that are going to have people that are potential clients of yours or power partners, people that could refer business to you. Um, you know, I, I was, uh, for example, um, real estate agents work well with mortgage brokers and, 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 and um, you know, that those, those are considered to be power partners. Uh, so you want to join groups um, that have at least 15 plus new members every day, groups that have at least 10,000 members, groups that are marked active or very active, and ones that have a lot of activity. And, and why it's important in choosing your LinkedIn groups is because you're limited to 50 groups. So per LinkedIn account, 
you're only you can only get 50 groups so you want to optimize and make sure that those are the best groups that have a lot of activity and you target those groups and some people have created multiple LinkedIn accounts just for the sole purpose of being able to join more more and more groups and market in those groups and that's a technique that can work you have to be careful with it um, you know LinkedIn sometimes might see you know duplicate accounts but I've had duplicate accounts for a while and nothing's happened to, to me but just know that that's there is a possibility that they could ask you to consolidate the accounts um, so let me show you I'm going to show you a screen on uh, LinkedIn groups so if, if you're looking for groups to join you click on groups and you click find a group so let's say I'm going after real estate because my client base is in real estate industry or I have power partners in the real estate industry I do a search for real estate and you'll see it shows very active 1846 discussions 462,000 members corporate real estate very active and then I click on these and then I can see what the purpose of the group is and the members and this is something that um, that I've had the VA just research because I haven't had time for that my virtual assistant looks into this and proposes hey these are the, the the different groups that you should join and I have them actually monitor the groups and groups that aren't very active uh, they switch out of those groups and replace those with other groups so once we've identified the groups that we're going to join and we've been accepted into those groups the next step is to create your own LinkedIn group and the reason why you would want to create your own LinkedIn group is well first it, it, it does put you in a position of, of being a leader in your industry if you have your own group um, but it also is giving you access to the members information it gives you control you can set the guidelines of that group and you can send out your own broadcast messages so you can create discussions you can uh, mention about any types of trainings or webinars that you're holding or events that you're holding um, it, it gives you that group where you can send your broadcast members and you have control over that um, so here's an example if, if you look under groups I have a group called business builder marketing group so anytime that I'm sending a connection message or a welcome message or communicating with people on LinkedIn I'm always encouraging them to join my uh, LinkedIn group now you also want to keep your profile alive and engaging and the way that you can do that is to spend at least a few minutes a day in creating a, a LinkedIn status update that's relative relevant to your to your industry so if you're in digital marketing you might post something that's relative to tips on on digital marketing uh, if you're in the real John, estate yes go ahead yeah Ken. can I interrupt just one moment on I, I just I, before we leave create your own LinkedIn group yes I'd like to add to the listeners that uh, uh, it, it should be who your target market is. So in other words, if you're an insurance agent and your target market is parents, then you want to create a group called Parenting 101. And then you'll join the groups that parents belong to. But you have to give them a real good reason why they should join. And like in that example, it's uh, creating, uh, uh, sharing ideas on uh, uh, keeping children healthy, et cetera, et cetera. So you want to give them those ideas. Like in, in, in my uh, three groups that I have, uh, it, it, the reason that people join is because I give them marketing ideas every month that will help them grow their business. So it's the incentive you've got to create in your message to the people uh, on why they should join your group. In other words, answer the question, what's in it for them? Because they're thinking of, why should I join another LinkedIn group? What's in it for me? So once you can address that question, then, then that would go from there. 
And and you know, uh, if anybody has any questions at the end, you know, I'll be glad to uh, uh, answer them too, John. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank thank you, Ken, for for bringing that up. And that's that's a key point. You know, is as as you do these things, whether it's a connection message or welcome message or the the ebook, is that that's a critical piece to have in it. And I know I've I've worked with you on uh, some of my messages in the past uh, that just were not converting and delivering, and and gone over those with you. And just making those type of changes, like you pointed out, makes a makes a huge difference on on the response. Um, so. All these these techniques that we're showing you today, you know, really are contingent on what message are you presenting to, to people. So, um, uh, when it comes to the LinkedIn groups, um, how do you once you've joined a LinkedIn group, how do you engage people? How do you get them? How do you interact with them and and get them converted into to customers? Well, I'll share with you uh, one of the things, and Ken, you can chime in on this as, as well. This is an example from, you know, one of your posts. And, and one of the things that you can do when, when you're in these groups is think of thought-provoking questions um, that uh, touch on people's pain points, things that they're having challenges with in, in their business uh, or in, in the market. Uh, and, and you pose that question. So, for example, uh, you know, for me, if I'm involved in, in digital marketing, I might pose something, what are some of the core challenges that you're having in, in your LinkedIn marketing pro program or your LinkedIn campaign? I might pose that question. And then what I look for is, is people who comment on that. And they say, yes, I'm having, uh, you know, some challenges in my LinkedIn program with getting uh, blocked by LinkedIn. It's, it's they're locking me out and, and I can no longer connect with people and I have to put in their email address. So you, you touch on what their challenges or pain points might be and you can see in these cases, um, you know, with uh, Ken, he posts a comment and people are putting their comments in and then, you know, Ken, you can speak to this, you know, your strategy is you, you look at that and you click on the person and say, hey, uh, appreciate your comment there. Um, uh, and, and that's your opportunity to open up the, the, the chance to give them a call and say, hey, I, I saw, I appreciate your comment there, have some suggestions for you, can we have a quick call for 10 minutes? And, and that's where you, you open up the discussion, either helping them out or, you know, possibly it's a, a feeder into your, your coaching program. Yeah, what I do, John, is um, whenever anybody comments on any of my posts, I do go into a comment, like you'll see Susan and Amy, thank, I said thank you, for your kind uh, words, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and then right underneath their their post, there's a button that's reply privately, and you can have a copy and paste message in there. Uh, you could say, "Hi, Amy. I, I just uh, a post. I just commented on your on your post on my discussion that I started in our LinkedIn group, and, but I just wanted to thank you personally uh, for doing that." and 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 then I got some paragraphs to drive them to other places that I need them to go to, whether it's downloading my free ebook or connecting with me. You know what I mean, Jeff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's this is a key piece that I uh, I think a lot of people might miss is is um, how how do well how do I can engage in these groups and how do I actually convert these. Uh, people that I'm connecting to in, into potential clients. And, and this is one of the missing links that I think uh, p people might not be aware of or, or utilizing. So, um, so the next thing that I'm going to cover is regarding the groups. So if you've joined your 50 groups, how many people can you reach in a month? So let's say, for example, if each group is getting 10 to 15 new members per week, if you do the math, and let's say there's 13 new members in one week times 50 groups, that's 650 new members per week. So 650 times four weeks, that's 2,600 people in a month. Um, so that's a huge amount of people that, that you can have access to in, in those 50 groups. And I'll give you an example of... Um, you know what we do when we join those those groups so this is if you look at for example my groups here 
what I do is after I've joined the group, I click on the group, and this is this is you know one of the the techniques that uh, I learned from Ken and that Ken has has perfected and that Ken teaches on on his uh, coaching calls is you look in here under all the activity and what we're looking for is new members in the group so here we see Yvonne uh, Gonzalez, Jason, so forth, and eight others join the group. Also, and, also John, John, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. if, if what what the virtual assistant does also is take the cursor and just place it on the, those two names are the top two pictures. But if you take your cursor and put it on the picture of the two on the bottom, you'll get their names. Right. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, th this is. So, so now you're getting four instead of just two. And I believe Ken, the, it used to show, didn't it? Used to show all the names, and eventually now they only show two of the names. But one of the the, the tricks here is you well, can like, still. Like, mm -hmm. Well, like like any successful business, they find it a way somehow to destroy themselves. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. We just have we just have to figure ways to work around their incompetency. Right. Yep. Well, so as as uh, you know, Ken mentioned here, the the virtual assistant goes in here um, and picks out the names, pastes them into into you know Notepad, and um, collects all these new new members. And then what you, you do is you go under members. Well, before you do that, John, if mm -hmm. I could just interrupt a minute. Yeah, sure. Is there any way you can back up to that? Yes. Uh, uh, the virtual assistant will go even all the way past there. So, you know, if, if somebody is looking at this right now, uh, when you go down to those four names, uh, it showed, uh, uh, what have you, uh, I forget. I think it was 2D for two days ago. Yeah, I'm going to go down back to that. And and they and they could go down now to 5D. So that's how the virtual assistant every week will find 10 to 15 new members. So right here you got the four, mm -hmm. and it says 2H. That's two hours ago. So you keep going down, and this is a very active group. So uh, you got a lot of stuff happening, even in two hours. But then you click. The virtual assistant does all this. They have the patience of God, thank God. <laughs> you know, and they go down and they just click on older on the far right hand side and they go to the next one. And you're still at two eights, three eights now, three hours. So probably ten to fifteen pages later, you'll get two D or one D, which will give you another four. And then two D, another four, three D, another four, four D, another four. And they'll, they'll list those up to 5D. So the virtual assistant is the one that has the patience of Job to do this. There you go. You got him again right, right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, so it's it's yeah. a it time, really time consuming act, activity to go through, but then eventually you'll you'll hit hit a few more, and then what the VA does is they put the names in the in the notepad and. Um, uh, from the notepad, then they go to the member screen, and then they put the person's name in here, and all this gets tracked. There's a Google tracker that they use to to keep track of the activity. But here you can see Ivana Gomez or Gonzalez, uh, uh, Samartin is a second level connection, and then what we do is we click send a message. Now, if you remember, normally you can't send a message to you can send connection messages, but you can't send uh, just send a normal message to someone who's a second level connection. This opens the door up to all these new members that are joining the group to send out your message to them. Now let's take a look at what we're going to put in the message.
So as I'm already showing, we're, we've gone into the CPA group. And what we're including in there is first we state our greeting and willingness to help. Next, we're going to ask uh, them to connect with us. So this is a key advantage because outbound you can send 3,000 connection messages, but what we're doing here is we're creating a funnel of inbound connection messages where people are going to connect with us. State who you are, what you do, how you help others. Recommend them to join your group if you have one. And then also offer a freebie for them to opt in to the free report. So those are key components. Again, it's going to build your first level connections. It's going to build your group. And it, it's also going to build your list. And if you think about, um, you know, for example, if you ever joined a, a, new, um, a new company, um, there was typically an HR person or somebody who oriented you to that company. They welcomed you. They made you feel good, right? And you always remember that person. Same thing if you joined a, a new um, business networking group. They have people who welcome you in. You, you remember those people. They, they make you feel good about joining that group. And that's basically what we're doing virtually is, is uh, we're welcoming new people in the group. We're typically the first person that's welcoming them into that group. And we generally get a positive response to that. Um, we don't get responses, hey, you're spamming me or why are you sending this message? I'm always getting messages of appreciation um, from, from people. Hey, really appreciate that. Um, and so here's an example of, of a message. Wanted to personally welcome you to our such and such group. We give each other's ideas on growing our business and referrals. One of the purposes of LinkedIn is to connect with each other. If you need to access any members of my network, please let me know. Uh, it gives them an invitation to connect and, and provides my email address, um, talks about what I do, and then recommends them to join my group, and then gives them a link to my group, and then the free report. Um, and again, I'm using uh, Ken's Marketing 101, uh, or Ken's, Ken's uh, free report has gotten a much better response than the other report that I was using before. And, and, and what happens is all those leads then go into my MailChimp account. So you can see here um, how many leads that I'm getting from, from Ken's 121 tips report, 617, 619, 73, multiple ones, 75, 76, 710. So every day, five to 10 people are, are opting in to my free report. Um, so the free report makes a difference in how you deliver that message also, as Ken pointed out earlier, makes a huge difference. So this is, this is the message uh, framework you know, that you send out to people, and it gets a very positive response. Um, so again, this is what we just showed here. As you look for the new members and you scroll down to you know, five days, and you can have a virtual assistant do this for you. And then they send that message out. And you're sending a message that has enough characters, just as if, as if they were almost the first level connection, you're able to send them and deliver that message to them. So again, it's, it's a positive response. And the goal of this is to convert these connections into customers. So they become your connections, and then they can see your status updates. They've opted into your list, um, which opens them up to you sending out a newsletter to them, uh, to you sending out any different types of promotions. Um, and in general, it's building your, your severe of influence and, and your audience. Now, um, one of the things uh, that you can also do is um, once you're in a group, you can also send messages to your fellow group members. Now, uh, let's take a look at the CPA group. So this has 48,000 members. So what I could do is I could actually go through and do the same thing with all the members in this group, but the difference is and, and there, there's a way to do that. Typically, you can start with common names and type a common name and, and keep track 
of, of all the people because there's, there's pages and pages um, of people and you need to somehow keep track of that. But the difference between this technique and the welcome message technique is these people are already established. They're already in the group and they're more likely, even though they're part of the same group, to complain that you're sending them you know, spam. Now, I've had a low percentage of people do that, but I remember, Ken, this was a, a technique that you used to do before, and uh, you decided the introduction, to... The, the introduction message. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe you found that the welcome message was what you wanted to focus on because that, that get, gets a, a lot better response, and it's, it's a better use of the VA's time to focus on the welcome message. YouTube. Exactly. The uh, uh, when you do it this way, uh, a lot of these individuals are veterans of being in that group, and they automatically just cancel every, any messages that are there. And what they do is they might go into their own mail maybe once a month. And, and these this is why, and this is good because all for all your listeners, John, this. By having the knowledge that you're uh, sharing with them, they have an unfair competitive advantage, and they will leave all their competitors in the dust because these people that are members here are not really utilizing LinkedIn to the maximum capability that they can, which is what you're showing everybody, John. So I'm sorry for interrupting. No, yeah, that's 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 a good point, and and um, you know this is definitely something that uh, when I you know we we still get people requesting to do that, but it's it's the the welcome message. Those are people that you know that you're going to be engaged. They just don't join the group. They're checking their inbox, and they're going to respond to you. So it's a, it's a lot better use of uh, whether it's your time or you know the VA's time uh, to to focus on that activity, and. How long does it take, you know, to do this activity? Well, you can kind of see that the scrolling down of pages and pages um, is a time-consuming activity, and um, it's something that you could do. But our time is is more valuable in in making sales and building client relationships, and that's that's why I've used a VA to do this. Ken has used a VA to do this uh, because our our time could be better utilized, and. Um, it's it it can really you know you could even maximize it and it could be a, a full time job for somebody but I recommend at least a, a twenty hour a week program so that you can uh, leverage your LinkedIn account and create clients this way and that's one of the reasons why I created this this specialized program this this program was um, doing well uh, for Ken with with his virtual assistant for for the past few years and and for me when I started utilizing that for my own business and um, this this particular program has been one of my most uh, successful marketing techniques that I've used and and this program that uh, has been developed of uh, the linked assist program will get you increased profile views increased inbound strategic connection requests so requests are going to come to you every day when I open my inbox there's numerous people connecting to me, not me to them. It's it's all people connecting to me. Um, increased name recognition and professional reputation as a thought leader in your industry because you're posting content in the groups and your status. Uh, increased LinkedIn uh, search rankings for keywords related to your business and occupation. So having that optimized profile and you know one of the most important things is increase in new prospects in your inbox that can convert to paying clients and and customers. <laughs> And John, let me let me let me just interject here a minute. Yeah. Uh, when 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 the virtual assistant does this, and I I've, I've been getting, and everybody in my coaching program, on average, gets between twelve and twenty two percent response rate. So when these people connect with you on the first level, what happens is I would suggest to everybody. And I didn't want to let it go without making this suggestion uh, to everybody that's listening. Uh, create an Excel spreadsheet and just simply have the first name, last name, and email address because when a person connects with you after you've accepted them, you now just click on the contact information icon and now you can get their personal email address. 
Now, when they're on your first level, you could also send through, through LinkedIn to their personal email messages on a constant basis also. So it's very important that you're going to be able to gather their, their personal email. Thanks, John. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for mentioning that. That's one of the, the key advantages of of having uh, them in your first level connection. And um, there's also an, an export feature that you can export that out and put that into your your database and and keep track of people who you're you're contacting, messaging, and and um, that that's uh, one of the major benefits of that. Um, so. With this virtual assistant LinkedIn Sys program, uh, we manage all these activities, which can be time consuming, or possibly activities that do require research. Um, just like you know, as we found out on this call, a lot of these things um, you you find you know through uh, being engaged in LinkedIn, and you'll you'll see LinkedIn changes something up on you, and you you have to be ahead of the game. And so there's an, a, a level of expertise that you need as well. Um, so optimize LinkedIn profile to increase your search ranking uh, by prospective clients and customers and strategic contacts. We can set up a company page um, and, and maintain it, put content and build the following. Uh, really key piece, crafting a, a welcome and connection message um, for conversation, uh, for conversions and prospect list building. Uh, sending these strategic connection requests. So I, I briefly showed the advanced LinkedIn search function where you can target people by their job title, by their geographic location, and we can send up to, you know, typically you don't want to exceed about 30 of those per day or 600 a month um, because people could flag that they don't know you and, and your account can re receive uh, reduced permissions from things like that or even possibly get um, temporarily uh, closed down or even closed if it's abused, so that has to be monitored. Um, joining the 50 LinkedIn groups that are most relevant to you, uh, monitoring the activity and, and posting in those groups. Um, so all these different things, uh, sending the welcome messages up to 2600 a month, um, integrating that welcome message with an opt-in, um, that goes into your MailChimp, your AWeber constant contact, uh, setting up your landing page, uh, integrating that with your landing page, um, even even possibly creating a free report, um, you know, for you if you don't have that, uh, and creating and managing your own LinkedIn groups uh, to interact and engage the audience, and then doing the the relative postings. So all these things are are things that the VA can do, and. This particular program uh, for a LinkedIn specialist VA is 8.20 per hour for a LinkedIn specialist that has done that, that knows how to do this, has seasoned in this activity um, with a recommended program of 80 hours a month, which is $656 for a monthly service. And if you think about how much um, do you make if you can convert one of these clients um, into one of these LinkedIn leads into a client, if you do the math, how much is one of your, your customers worth? And we're going to go into the bonuses next because um, that's that covers a you know, really important piece of this. But to sign up, you would just visit virtualassistanttalent.com forward slash linked assist or just go directly to linkedassist.com or call 1-866-596-9041. Now, the bonuses, and, and uh, Ken can chime in on this one as well, one of the bonuses, um, before I get that, one of the bonuses is two fr free one-hour LinkedIn strategy planning calls, and that would be a value of $250. That's with myself and a, a very seasoned LinkedIn specialist where we work with you, your business, and, and come up with your LinkedIn strategy and, and work with you on the profile and so forth. Um, we normally have a $99 setup fee, which is also waived. And then one of the biggest pieces here, a critical piece, is uh, the three months free of Ken Varga's coaching program. Um, and that coaching program has been very valuable, you know, for me, um, because I was sending out messages, and you know, I've been in Ken's program for a year. I was sending out messages in the same way, but I wasn't getting the response until I finally, you know, showed Ken, hey, Ken. I'm not getting the responses that you're getting. Here's my message, and he critiqued it, and he made changes to it, and it made a huge difference. Um, and so that's one of the critical pieces that can help you be successful in this, this LinkedIn program. And, and so all these bonuses have a value of $5,310. I'm going to 
have Ken, you know, this is this is about Ken's program. Um, and Ken, if you want to speak to that, you know, I've I've been through this the, the program and it's it significantly made the difference between my LinkedIn campaign uh, not converting really the way that it should, but once I finally followed your instructions and your input and presented to you, hey, here's the messages that I'm sending out and, and they're not converting, it, it made a big difference for me. So. Well, it is, John. It's 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 the the messages are critical, and you know you you just uh, touched on one message, the welcome. Uh, the introduction message has been working very well too, but there's also other things that can be done. Uh, like if you're if there's anybody's a speaker that's here, uh, they could have a message. You could your the virtual assistant just send out a message to everybody that they're speaking in two weeks at wherever it is, uh, click here, et cetera, et cetera. So it's taking all of the mundane work that a business owner would normally do that would take him out of the profit-generating role that he's supposed to be in. And marketing is the engine that makes any business run, at which your virtual assistant program, it allows him or them to just do what they have to do and somebody else just provides the prospects on a consistent and continuous basis for them to uh, speak to and, and to convert it to a customer. So that's, yes. that's about it. Yeah, and, and this is, uh, I've just pulled up a screen. This is um, three of our recent clients, and, and these are business coaches, and, and they have organizations that uh, provide training programs, but you can see here, you know, over the last three weeks, we we track the number of connections that they have, the messages that are being sent out, and then positive responses. So, for first week, five positive responses, three the second, one the third week. Um, on the other client, he had seven on the, the week of the 14th, four on the week of the 21st, five on the week of the 28th. Um, the last one here that I put in here, uh, 11 positive responses on the first week, uh, second week six, third week four, and you know basically what he was doing is he's putting on a seminar and he's trying to get people to sign up. So the VA's sending the messages out to people and checking his his inbox and seeing which people are inquiring further, and then he follows up with those people. And uh, he was able to get six signups um, for his event that he was promoting. This is a campaign we just we just did. So um, let's uh, open it up for. Uh, we're actually um, the call is taken up a full hour here. So uh, if you have any you know questions, um, you can shoot them over here under the question. We'll try to get that answered. Otherwise, uh, if you sh send us a question, we can answer it uh, offline. So. Um, Appreciate everybody on the call. I'm going to unmute everybody, and um, we just got a couple minutes. If you need to leave the call, you can leave because we're, we're out of time here. But uh, we can save you know five minutes for some discussions here if, if anybody has anything that they'd like to ask. So I'll do that next. And and Ken, you know, thanks again for for being on the call as well. Appreciate that. And and you know, your, my pleasure. Mm -hmm. And uh, your 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 program is, is just a, a tremendous uh, benefit and, and definitely a compliment uh, as well for utilizing virtual workforce and, and crafting and making some of these fine tunes that make all the difference in uh, the, the success of the campaign. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unmute everybody. So if you don't have a question, go ahead and, and mute yourself, but everybody's going unmuted right now. and. Uh, we might get a lot of background noise, so if you don't have any questions, go ahead and mute. Um, if nobody has any questions, we'll also uh, conclude the call. So, um, any any uh, questions from the group? Okay. Looks like I forgot. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay. Well, good. I, I don't think there's any uh, questions, so we uh, crammed a lot into uh, one full hour here. And again, if you're interested in the service and you want to take advantage of the uh, bonuses, um, this uh, bonuses um, are el you're eligible for these up to f this Friday at midnight um, to get these different bonuses. And again, if you'd like to sign up for the program, um, again, you can visit linkedassist.com. That's L-I-N-K-E-D assist, A-S-S-I-S-T dot com, or call 1-866-596-9041. Okay. 
All right. Well, well, thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for joining the call. Thanks again, Ken. All right. Thank you. I, I appreciate everything, and uh, it was my pleasure. All right.